Hello everyone! In this video, we will continue to examine topic 2.1, motion, and in particular, we will begin to discuss velocity time graphs. Alright, so, consider uh, some constant velocity motion, and consider analyzing that constant velocity motion using a velocity time graph. Consider a car moving at, for example, positive 2 meters per second for 5 seconds, and then at positive 4 meters per second for 5 seconds. How far did the car go? Well, to find that answer, notice that you're going to find the total displacement. And in fact, you're going to find the total displacement for the first interval, and then the total displacement for the second interval. You do that by taking the velocity and multiplying by the time interval for both intervals. So positive 2 meters per second times 5 seconds plus positive 4 meters per second times 5 seconds gives you positive 30 meters. And the really essential part to recognize here is that this process has a direct graphical interpretation. So if I plot a velocity time graph of a car moving at a constant positive 2 meters per second, for five seconds, so moving at positive two meters per second, positive two meters per second, all the way to here, and then at positive four meters per second for five seconds, um, then I can find the displacement just by using the graph. And you'll notice that in this calculation, I'm taking the velocity here and multiplying by delta t. And I'm doing that in both cases. The velocity times delta t is thus the displacement, or the area under this curve. And in particular, the area that is relevant, okay, that is the area that is equal to the displacement, is the area between the graph of the line and the time axis. So by taking the velocity and multiplying by delta t, I can find the displacement, or the area under this section of the curve, uh, and I can do the same in this blue section as well. So the velocity times delta t is the total displacement uh, during that time period. Um, in particular, plus 10 meters in this example and plus 20 meters in this example. Notice that if the car had been moving at negative 2 meters per second for 5 seconds, then the displacement in that first uh, region of time, that first time interval, would have been at negative 10 meters. And that would have been shown on the graph because the line would have been below the t-axis here. And so this area is what would have been calculated, the area between the line and the graph. And that area would have been negative. Okay? So in uh, the important thing moving forward is that we know that the displacement is represented between any two uh, points in time as the area under a velocity time graph, okay? And that's our key ingredient here. Um, in calculus terminology, uh, if you've seen a little bit of calculus before, uh, delta x is the integral from the initial time to the final time of v of t dt. Um, but this is our key idea. This is what I'm going to focus on for this class. 